Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Rant Valley Community College. This is for Computer Literacy Summer 2017. And this is meant to be uh, a silly little demo on how we can use Excel for like keeping track of our checkbook uh, as a way of um, handling, well, you know, for those that have registers, um, entering in our withdrawals and our deposits and to really calculate our running total. Um, one thing I, I want to do, by, by the way, is um, I just want to take this entire area where we're going to be doing the, uh, uh, the numbers on. Um, now, I know I've only gone to, to this point, um, but I'm just going to put the format in. Um, the idea is, by the way, is I just went and I formatted even this area over here. So if I go in and, um, oh, I have to come back and format this. But let's say we go in and let's say I write a check today, and the check I write is for, I don't know, a lemonade. Lemonade stand. And uh, I write a check for $1.10. Um, and you notice it's automatically formatted. So you can format nothing. <laughs> you can format blank space um, so that later entry uh, uh, will work. Okay. Um, now, in terms of this, for the register, so I'm, I'm, I'm starting with, imagine I have a starting balance of um, 1344. Let's just pretend that's my starting balance. Um, in terms of the register, when we, when we get the next one, we're going to subtract or withdraw and add our deposit. So I can say, okay, take the balance in the prior line. Let me subtract from it the withdrawal. Let me add to it the deposit. And that's going to give us our new running total. Well, this formula that I just calculated, if I just copy this all the way down, now I'm getting my running total. Um, and so at any point in time, let me just go do an F2 here, um, the way that the running total is being calculated here is the prior balance, subtracting withdraw, adding the deposit, and then this is our, that's our, our, our new uh, total. Um, the idea, in a sense here, well, a couple of things. One, uh, I can put the withdrawals in um, sort of the positive format, meaning I don't have to enter a negative 718. I can just put 718. Um, and um, Or same thing with the uh, deposits. Instead of dealing with the signs, I'm entering in all positive values here. It's the formula that's taking care of subtracting the withdrawals and adding the deposits. Um, so, um, anyway, so this is just a simple way I can use the register. Um, the part that may seem silly here, but maybe from a, a budgeting point of view, imagine if I had the same expenses and revenue coming in. And hear me for a second. Suppose I had the same um, values for the following month. I actually could budget out. So imagine if... Um, this was, ignore the fact that we don't have paid in the middle of July. Suppose this actually is my August pay. Humor me. And um, so suppose this is actually going to be August 1st. And, you know, August, well, 1st uh, and August 3rd. What, what, what I'm getting at but not well, let's ignore the dates for right now. If I'm using this, and I'm, I'm just going to put, you know, if this is our now, <laughs> if this is where I am now, I actually then can sort of like estimate what things may be uh, in the future. And what will happen is over time, as we kind of know what our um, quarterly, semi-annual, annual payments are, we actually can kind of get them into the register and kind of plan ahead. So the now marker is saying, this is where I am now. Um, and actually, let me take this from and bring it down. And at the um, end of August, then this is where uh, what I expect to be. And so let's just say that um, I know that my cell phone bill is going to be yet higher 
uh, next month. And let's say uh, the cable said it's going to go up August 1st, and now it's going to be 325 for the cable. Um, and suppose because I'm depressed and all this, I'm going to drink more beer. Um, here, here's a good sign. The fact that, hey, this is coming up uh, uh, negative here. And this, I, I'm sorry, I changed my mind on what I was going to do there. But um, the, the point is, if I'm budgeting into the future, I actually can see when things go awry. The thing I was going to do is the conditional formatting. I may change my mind. Uh, about doing that, but you know, I could highlight it. So if it's less than zero, highlight it red, and it's an actual visual clue that that or cue clue cue that things have gone uh, awry. Uh, I'm sorry. The one thing that uh, I, I had meant to do, and I uh, apologize, um, was to format uh, the date. Now I just took the default that they had. Um, but what I can do is. Um, well, when I can go into and use one of the canned uh, dates that they have, and so if I just do the short date, now I'm getting these coming up uh, uh, in this format. Um, and so, although I, when I enter uh, uh, data, um, you know, I only have to enter in the portion that will default what the current year is. Um, but the point is, I just wanted to go and kind of show that we could change the formatting uh, of the date as well. I think those are something I didn't show in the other videos uh, to this point. Anyway, with this, uh, I'll probably think of something else, but that's, I think that's good enough.